That's the sporting pitchfork, and I'm playing that on the English concertina. Um, I'll just show you one or two little things that I did with ornamentation there. Um, there's three double crotchets, three dotted crotchets at the beginning, and sometimes I played them um, like this. That's an F sharp, a G, and two F sharps. So two quick ones and two even. The second one I played E, F sharp, and then two E's. Another time I played, I just put a, a G gross note before the F, E, F. And then I did a triplet E, F, E. Sometimes I used a few little chords underneath. I held a D underneath. And I used some trills in the second part too. That sort of thing. No, it's not actually a trill, it's an F sharp, G, F sharp, F sharp. So just a few little ideas there on simple ornamentation and how to um, vary the tune a little bit. And um, I was holding on um, a D note underneath, sometimes beneath the G. I'll try and show you where. So, I'm playing a B in the melody, and an A and a G, and a D note harmonizes with all of them. That sort of thing. So, a mixture of kind of double stops, maybe just a one note drone underneath two or three notes that harmonizes. Um, a similar thing to what a banjo might, player might do, where I played F sharp, G, two F sharps, two quick notes and two uh, quavers, and then I played triplets, and then I also played uh, a single grace note in front of a triplet. <laughs> There, instead of F sharp, E, F sharp, I played a G grace note. So I hope that helps and gives you some idea. I have a, a concertina tutor available at www.dickmiles.com. So um, lots of things like that are dealt with in that book. Thanks a lot. Hope it's helpful.